Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2, I'm your host, Helm Mokalova. And right now, obviously we're playing still as the Netherlands, even though we should really be called maybe the Kingdom of the Netherlands, regardless. Right now, we are currently at war with, what was this, El Salvador? And San Salvador, why? Because we can, and usually we don't come over to this part of the world and take people out just because America usually spheres everything. So I figured, you know what, let's try something different and go to war with, I guess, El Salvador, because actually I tried off screen to go to war with um, Uruguay. But the French kind of like them a little bit too much, so kind of sucks. Oh well, we have a lot of comps to go through, but let's butcher some of these people in Central America. We love Central America, and also, as you can see, we do have a reform at the top that we can do. Oh, also, well, we are at war with Nicaragua, but whatever. So, let's see. I, at this point, I think I want to make sure that people don't piss, are pissed off too much. <sighs> okay, if we have to outlaw it. <sighs> Disappointing, but oh well. Oh, and anyway, apparently we got 3,000 of them, nice. Uh, in the meantime, just go and get rid of the entire army that they have. Yeah, thank you very much. And, okay, they've made another one. Okay, well. Bye-bye. Very cool. Couple comments, though. So, let's see. Someone says we should stay allies with Prussia. I'll try to. I'll try my best to stay allied with Prussia as much as possible. Um, they're very, very effective. So, we'll do the best we can. Even though off-screen, like, at one point, they left our alliance or something. So, yeah. Also, I, I am thinking about going to war with Denmark just because eventually Prussia is going to beat the crap out of them. Uh, so, that'd be something really good to go to war with as well. Going to war with Denmark would be very, very nice. Because they have a high, relatively high literacy, especially compared to where the places that we're taking out. So, eventually, temperance league. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. Uh, we get more prestige? Yes, please. Also, like normal, if the audio... I, I've I fixed up the audio because a lot of you guys last time said it was a little bit too loud. So, let me know if it was a little better, if I need to change. So, just let me know. In the comments below, let's see, someone recommends we take back New Amsterdam, or basically what is New York City, from America. Um, we'll try to. We'll see how bad, or how badly we can mess up America here, so... Oh, they just finished the war with Mexico, look at that. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens, uh, yeah. Definitely see what happens. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, Me Me Mexico, you done? Uh, thanks for playing, Mexico. Empire of Mexico is here. Maybe we'll go to war in... Take off land, but I don't know about that. Of uh, the comments, let's see. Lower the music. I already said that. I have bad pronunciations, especially regarding Indonesian places and events and historical sites and stuff like that. Oh, you betcha. I butcher words like crazy. I butcher them so bad. Wow, there's a lot of support for the liberal population here. Oh, that's not good. That's eh, okay. It's not great, though. All right. Oh, look at that. And is it Mexico oh, again? Maybe? Uh, I did ask you guys yesterday what other places in the world we should take out. Oh, wait, who is that? Uh, Siak. Okay. Uh, and someone recommend we take out Haiti. The problem with Haiti, though, right now, is that we're a little too, too late in terms of... Oh, it's Andrew, forget, forget. It was right here. Haiti. They've already split apart from the Dominican Republic, or the Dominican Republic has already split apart from them. And they're already in the American sphere, which we might be able to take out once America's in a civil war. Maybe? But I guess we'll have to wait and see, ultimately. And that's just pretty much the biggest thing. Just gotta wait and see. Uh, what do people want now? Universal way to voting? Uh, I don't really want to do that. Oh, look. Ships go bye-bye. Wealth voting? Oh, wait. We did universal, huh? You get way more immigrant attraction. Ah, oh, screw it, why not? Just give it to them what they want. We can't do any social policies yet, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh! Oh, we lost the battle. That's not good. That's alright. Alright, not bad. We got some pressure chambers for thorax surgery, as well as genetic heredity and for more population growth. Very, very nice. And... Good. Kill them all off. I just want your land, man. That's all I want. I guess you're gonna have to learn this the hard way. Oh, look at that. austro karkawian War of Independence. Or of Imperial Restoration. Very nice. Other comments include, Create Greater Netherlands, which includes Northern France, as well as the Rhineland. Uh, probably at the end game, we'll probably try at least try that. We get this part of France and get the Rhineland as well. So, the end of the revolution: broken, busted, and thrown to the sides by the barricades, and the tricolors have stopped waving from the window sills. The events that re will be recorded by history as the Dutch Liberal Revolution of 1846 are all in the past, and it seems that we've managed to weather the coming storm. We pray for the fallen. Cool. Not bad. Ooh. Travacor. Very, very nice. Very nice. We got quite a bit of money. I don't mind upgrading some places here. If we need to, uh, like factories and such, I don't mind doing that. Valonia, very nice, very nice. Cool. And let's see. Uh, someone says we could probably, instead of save scumming, edit the amount of infamy decay in the save file so you don't have to save scum nearly as much. Uh, we could, but I like playing normally, so save scumming is okay, so eh, it could be better, it could be worse. I'd rather have the more normal approach to doing this, so. 
At least for now, maybe in the future we will, so. Uh, to take lands, especially from a major power. Oh, more population growth, nice. We should get the Dismantle Empire's Castus Belli. And then, oh, that guy's dead. And then t directly take lands during the war, which is one way you can do it. More population growth, we love vaccinations. You know what va vaccinations cause? Vaccinations cause healthy lives. <laughs> they cause healthy, healthy lives. Cool. Uh, fo another focus would actually be pretty good. More plurality would be pretty nice, actually. I'd like to do more industry, though. Integrant. Ooh, chemistry. Oh, I. you know what? I'm going to rush this one. We're going to rush this one. We could, we could pretty much use it. All right, so in the meantime, it's 1846. Let's look at diplomacy. It's anyone else at war? We're still at war. These guys. Oh. Yeah, I, I need to show you something else as well. Austria, 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 Austria. Thank you. Uh, they're still looking pretty good. Let's keep good relations with these guys. UK, we still kind of like it. Would you like an alliance? No, okay. And they've been taken out. Give it till the end of the month. Maybe we can go be at peace with them? No, yes. Okay. Nice. Perfect. This is just what God had wanted. Exactly what God wanted, you know. And there's a little bit of revolt risk, but they can make their own armies, which is actually pretty good too. So you guys need to become maybe a little bit bigger. You know, where did you where are you from? Oh, maybe over here, maybe perhaps. Well, we need at least another artillery piece, so that'd be good. Central American artillery is very nice. We have some unemployed workers. It is what it is. I'd love to build this up more. I built more industry, especially for, for the military right there. What do we got? El Salvador. They want to build some factories. You know what? That's okay. Go ahead and build some factories. We got the money for it right now. Obviously, we're going to need to save some of our money later on, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, not bad. So we'll see what we can take out. We'll see what, where we can go, and uh, have a good old time. All right, everyone. So here we're at. If you'd like to read about the Mines Commission of 1849, please go right ahead. And we get limited safety regulations. You know what? I kind of like limited safety regulations. Let's go and do that one. But I was going to have us go to war with Denmark, but then the UK and even America once, they just joined in the war against me and Prussia. I'm not really in a position where we can fight the British yet. Our Navy is not very good, but by the end game, we'll probably beat up America. We'll probably beat up the United Kingdom. But on the other news, we do have a second national spirit already, or focus, you know, national focus we can do here. So that's that's actually pretty good. We got to the second one already, which is pretty darn nice. We have enough core population for us to have a second one, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. But we're going to go to attack some more of Southeast Asia because who doesn't love attacking Southeast Asia? If you're from Southeast Asia, we love you. It's just that we love you so hard that we want you to become a part of us. So, Kalamantan, hello! <laughs> cinnamon, boys, cinnamon! Alright, so we're with Bone again, Kalamantan, of course, as Sulu. <sighs> These guys never learn, man. Then again, our army isn't... We're not spending a lot on our army. Also, anarcho-liberals have been founded in the world, which is... Uh, it's kind of okay. Actually, we probably won't take you guys out as well. Uh, you know what? We can probably take this, the infamy hit here, probably. Oh, never mind. That's 15. I'm gonna. I'd rather save scum. Um. Yeah. Oh wait. Are we? Oh, there they go. Okay. I was, I was wondering what was going on. Cool. And Denmark. No wonder they kept going to war with us. Denmark is in their sphere. That sucks. But it's all right. What? We'll make up for everything. A bone. What? 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 Oh. Well, we'll make up for everything later on, but... Okay, that's not bad. I wanted this place because, well, we're going to need it anyway, so... It's not bad. Go ahead and expand it. All right, not too bad. Pretty darn nice. These guys, I got to send back to Vietnam, but... Uh, actually, I'm going to combine you guys here as well. What do we have here? We have one available, so we have infantry. We've got some infantry. We've got some horses. Why not? Uh, Hussars would be very nice. Yeah, like... Half the time, you just got to keep an eye on your sphere of uh, influence map mode. Just to see where everyone has their influence, because I really hate the British. By the end of this campaign, I'm going to hate the British so incredibly much. France has got their fingers dipping into the Swiss, parts of the Italians, and this is I'm, this is disgusting. This is so disgusting. Russia took over Lebanon, and the British already have the Gaza Strip, Israel region, Palestine, just... <sighs> guys, guys, guys. Hey, look at that. We got Germ Theory and Experimental Pathology, but I'll see you when we can go ahead and take out some more people. And now it's time for Pontianak to go bye-bye. All right, everyone. And apparently France is going to war with Carla Spain. Well, that's going to suck for them. Oh, well. Ah, good times. Anyone else want to join us? No? Okay, then. Uh, Austria, they actually finished up their revolution or putting down the Hungarian revolts, which is fine. We don't really care too much. I wouldn't really influence anybody else. 
You know what, what if we could get... Oh, I guess Australia's not here yet. That kind of sucks. Kind of like the influence of... I guess we'll go with these guys next, probably. Bali, just... Actually, that's where Bali is, huh? I wonder when we can integrate these guys, too. I would like these guys to be integrated with us. Uh, Pahang. Too bad Simon's in their sphere. We could probably take out more of Vietnam, actually. Yeah, we'll probably go to war with Vietnam. I think at this point, our armies are just a little better to the point where we can actually make our own military there. Look at that. We actually can make a little thing there. Vietnamese infantry. We love the Vietnamese infantry. We love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. Let's see. Neuchâtel, Uruguay. Finally, well, that's why I couldn't go to war with them, you gosh darn dudes. God, we're going to take out the French by the end of the campaign here. I just want to make sure we can build ourselves up a lot more. Actually, we had an election here, and that's why we have the constitutional crisis. We elected the Liberal Party, the little Liberal Party here, but we, uh, but I, I switched this to Nationals just because I want Jingoism so we can justify faster, because there's a limited amount of time you have before pretty much everyone has been influenced or in a sphere of influence, and or people just don't, you know, you can't go to war as much, so. Uh, however, we do have Rooms Catholic, which I'm not really sure what that is, it sounds like, you know, just part of the Catholic Party here, but we also have the Radical Party with Anarcho-Liberals, Anarcho-Liberals uh, love, you know, free trade, laissez-faire, the atheists, they love full citizenship, which I should like. But they're also jingoistic and opposed to welfare, so. Not bad. Constitutional crisis. I didn't hear anything. And what do the people want? Limited citizenship. I'm kind of okay with that, too, but. Say capitalism. Uh, one year draft. Secret ballots. Uh, I want all the immigrant attraction, but we're a European state, so we won't get, won't get that much immigrant attra attraction at all, so. Oh, thank you for playing. Thank you, Pontiac. This is looking better already. I want to go to war with Sarwak. I might risk it to go to war with them. Uh, you can, and that's why we can't go to war with Denmark, because they're allied with the UK. Gosh dang it. But I'm going to risk it probably off screen and see if we can take out Sarwak. I want to have the entire island under us. I would like Bone as well, even though we just basically went to war with them. But you know what? We shall see. All right, everyone. So I think for now, we're going to take out Vietnam, because it's going to take us some time to take out Vietnam. Actually, China exploded. Look at that. Oh. That's kind of nice. Uh, can we actually take them out? Can we demand something from them? That actually might be the best time to demand... Oh, I guess we can't get technically a port treaty. Uh, what do we need to get a port treaty, actually? What do we have here? Dutch Indochina. This decision is required for the use of imperialism sea being Indochina. Only European GPs have access to this. What the heck? We need revolution and counter-revolution. We get prestige. Oh, they won't like us then. Eh, it's alright. We already did it, so. Organize Vietnam's production. We need steam turbine. Convention over Danish Straits. Claim Artois. Well, eventually... Do you have any salt in it? That'll happen the short declaration. Oh, yeah, we saw that one Dutch. Anything else? I want to embrace the Flemish. I want more accepted cultures here. So we need at least phenomenalism and more prestige, freedom of religion, Dutch Wallonia. So that'd be good. Uh, anything else? We're going to be Amsterdam. Nope. Freedom of religion act actually probably might be okay to do. Oh. Oh, okay. Less pop consciousness and militancy non colonial. Or more pop consciousness. Okay. It's not bad. Alright, well, maybe we could do that one, actually. But, we're currently going to war with Vietnam, so... Oh, that's the one first. And then we might take apart to China. Actually, I kind of want China. You know what, we'll go, we'll go for war for China soon enough. But, these guys first. Now, we should do better here, hopefully. You never know. Um, We can call in other people, but we should do okay. We have definitely stacked up a few more guys here, so... Uh, let's keep an eye on what's going on up here. License in the act. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. Uh, all they can do is they, what they see fit. Nice. Oh, we'll actually see you just done pretty darn quickly. We actually double Hussars in there. That's not bad. We're finishing up state government as well. Uh, off screen, I think we did one more reform as well. It wasn't really that major. Let's take a look. Reforms. Oh, we went to secret ballots. It is what it is. I just want as much, like, immigrant attraction as possible. Alright, Cambodia. Yep, right? That's Cambodia. Yep, it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is the UK doing? Hold on. UK, what are you doing? Oh, Mexico is getting killed by America. Or no, Mexico wants to kill off the Yucatan, and America's like, no. So he said, we're, ah, the Opium War. Ah, very good, very good. I want to negotiate an unequal treaty, please. Oh, oh, look at this. Dutch Imperialism in Kalimantan. I like this. We have a colonial claim in Kalimantan region that is in all states in that region. It is most likely an excuse. Some old ruler passed away stopping infighting and killing unpaid debts, harassment of Dutch citizens and merchants. No matter the reason, what matters is that we have a new reason to expand Dutch influence in Kalimantan's region and bring it into the fold. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's warned that the Imperialism CB is available for you in one or more of the following countries. Mozambique, Algiers, Yemen, Indonesia, Laos, Cambodia, Burma, Burma oh, Malaysia. Does it need to be constructed? It gives 0.5 to 2 infamy and has an random truce from 1 to 5 years. It will not appear again. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Kalimantan? We technically have a... 
Ooh. They're allied with Bone and Sulu, which we took out last time, Sulu. Actually, we probably want to annex them as well. They're not looking super strong right now, I'll be honest. So, we actually might be able to do this right now. We already went to war with them once, so... I like this. I like this a whole lot. But in the meantime, it is 1850, and we did get an inorganic chemistry. I want to do organic chemistry, but... Oh, no, oh, mmm. We got to go with this one first. We need nationalism and imperialism, I think so. God, I wish we had more soldiers here. Good, keep moving on. I want maybe you can drag these guys in. Oh, what do we have here? One year draft. Oh, I don't want to do that, but whatever. If the people want it. I don't want to get pissed, pissed people off too much. Oh, hello. Well, they don't have cannons yet, so. I should play this Vietnam someday. Oh, we caught him up. Nice. Alright, well, that army's going to go bye bye. Nice. Oh, well, there goes 13,000 of them. Uh, Vietnam, how much score do we need? Oh, four more. We need to demand Annam. Well, go on in, guys. Good luck. And we just slaughtered almost 17,000 of them. Is that enough? Okay. Vinh Hong? Vinh Long. Vinh Long. Cool. Oh, what's going on here? Um, Decline A, decline A. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I do want to go to attack Africa, but we got to give it some time. And they are going to go bye-bye. I love Imperialism. At least when I'm, not, when I'm doing it. Nope, they still... Was, oh, you know, if you say no, we have to oblige. You know, I should go up there first, that's fine. How are we doing down here? Doing okay? Intellectual, so be it. Actually, we should probably double-check them right now. How are we doing with our CVs? CVs, CVs. Actually, can we make another army here? No, no not yet. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, what do we have on the naval map mode? Where is that button? National focus. Alright, so we're trying to get some intellectuals here. I'm just trying to get as many intellectuals as possible. 2.9% is not bad. And we're current 3.9. Valonia, you are done. Actually, since you're here, just go and do this. Try to get some bureaucrats here. I don't think we actually be able to port, but that's all right. It is what it is. You know, just stay there then. Uh oh, UK is going to war with China. Fine with us. He'll go to war with China next. Can you please peace out, guys. You don't need Annam, um, please. Please. How about now? Yep. Nice. Yeah, guys, you need roads here. Um, actually... Ooh. Well, we get rid of this one, I guess. That's fine. Combine these guys together, then. Come to Huey. That'd be good. And you guys did great. And we did great down here, too. We might have killed these guys off. Wait. Ooh. Sulu. Oh. Well. How about you guys? Not bad. White piece. I like the white piece. That's actually really nice. I don't think we have any other war goals against anybody else. The Saudi Civil War is not very good. And we have a truce with these guys. Ooh. You know, I do want to go to war with the Chinese. This is a terrible time for the Chinese to be in a civil war. But it might just be what we need, especially if they only have 15 military power strength. Now let us try to take on the empire of the Qing. And hopefully we do okay. The British already peaced out with them. Do we really want Formoso or Qing Feng Xian? Where's Feng Xian? Is that, isn't that up here? Qing Feng Xian? Uh, I think, I think, actually Formosa might be a better take. Just because it's literally off the coast. That, that's probably best to take, yeah. Let's take Formosa, perhaps. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Calling our allies? We could, but I think we'll be okay. You know what? Let's just come over here first. Let's come to Formosa. Screw it. Uh, you guys? Oh, no, 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 no. You guys want to come over here. Let's go over this way, guys. Formosa it is. Help. Oh, let's take those guys. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you guys, but okay. Well, we'll see what happens. We do have 29,000, so... And we do have our ships blockading them, so that would be pretty nice. And... No divisions for you. Go in here, see what happens. 21,000 infantry. Um... Well, it is grasslands. Well, let's see just down first, and then we'll come back and... Uh, make him go kaboom, hopefully. No draft. God, these people are so lazy. No draft. You're not joining the military. What's wrong with you? Oh, cool. Basato, huh? 
Well. Oh. Oh, tapping or blowing. Okay, stop doing that, guys. You know, come to Peng Hu first, then. Denmark, I wanted to kill you. No. Alright, not bad. Cool. And I guess we would come over here next, I suppose. Why not? I'm gonna come here and then go there. So we don't lose it. And they don't have a lot of morale. Actually, I even raised. You know, I even raised my budget. Look at that. I even raised my budget. Let's get rid of them first. We lost 1,100. Not bad. 1,200 pretty much. That's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, Let's see. Which is a bigger population? This one definitely is a bigger population. And we don't like the political machine. Strength of tr strongest party. Yeah, let's do this one. Why not? And actually, because we came here to China, we can build two slots there. Oh, we're going to build another army? Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to be nice. But then, who's next? That's a good question that we've got to discover for ourselves next. Now, there's been a few things that have happened off screen, especially with the call of arms. But we did finish off and research nationalism and imperialism, so we've got a few things we can do here. First of all, and also, we did lose Jambi, apparently, so we can go straight to war with them. Because they were, like, released or something. Colonial Reconquest. They're, they're being very rebellious, naughty boys. So we got to deal with them. Oh, I should have not done that one yet. We should have uh, done whatever we could have done here. But first, ah, it doesn't matter. So Germany is decided to go to war. I guess it's now the North German-Russian War of Honor. Germany with their allies, Baden, Sigmaten, Bavaria, Württemberg, humiliate the Russian Empire with Montenegro, Finland, UBP, Transcaucasia. I don't want to help them out, but Germany's probably going to do well, so we'll go ahead. Since we're already at war anyway, so whatever. And also, we can go to war now with Wari. I tr did try to go off screen and try to go to war with Sarawak, but the UK got involved and, well, can't really do too much when the UK gets involved, now can we? Also, I did ally with the Danes, so hopefully they can join the war, so... That'll be good. Now they can't move through here, hopefully. Oh, they sold some ships, though. Alright, we're going to fish them off, and hopefully, let's see... The Germans kick in Russia's teeth, and we can just kind of hang out. Because I don't want to piss off the North Germans, not yet. Eventually, we will, but they'll probably be the last nation we ever even try to take out. Just because it, it just... There's so, so many men. Germany just has so many boys. It's ridiculous. It's worse than the UK. It's absolutely... I'm pretty sure it's worse than the UK, because I've done it before. I think we went to play Sokoto, and it was a mess. It was a giant flipping bad word mess. So, okay. So now we got to send our guys to war and take them out, too. All right, thank you. Well, nice. That's what we like to see, everyone. Dutch Asia, Dutch Java looking pretty darn nice. Even though we lost that thing over there in Asia, or Africa, we're still coming back, so it doesn't even really matter. I can make more divisions, yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. Infantry and Hussars. Nice. And apparently Taki Senpai did not like that. I said that Belgium was a failed state. Well, according to this campaign, it is. So sorry, Taki Senpai. Sorry. Oh, look at Russia's getting taken out there too. Oh, and yeah, see. Allying with the Germans, or the North Germans at least, not a bad idea. I only allied these guys to help us out in the wars. Hey, wait, hold on. We can't call you in? All right, then. Bye-bye. We don't care about you then, Denmark. Oh, Denmark. Uh, sure, we don't really care. Hopefully we go to war with them. So, they're still out, out with it, Sakota, but whatever. Cheers. Pop militancy goes down. I think that's a good thing to get, right? And austria hungary of course, did form. Uh, everyone kind of likes... Ooh! They have Irish nationals there in Ireland. Nice. We like to see that, don't we? The Crimean War is raging on, so that's kind of cool. And what else do we have here? We're jingoistic, which is good, good, good. And let's go ahead and have a good old time. Let's go to Bonnie, Benny, Bonnie. This way we don't have to, you know. Ooh. Sure, we'll do that one. So this way we don't have to like just directly naval invade on top of those guys. That'd be very, very bad. Or we're to cut those walls. Not good, but whatever. Thank you. And we are getting rid of Africans. Ah. <sighs> Just casually getting rid of 18,000 Africans. What's better than that? Oh, we're the Catholic Party now. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I don't like anti-military. I really don't... That's not bad. I kind of like that. Laissez-faire? Oh, man. I don't want to do laissez-faire right now. Please. You're going to kill the economy. Oh, look at this. Yay! War is ours. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I'd rather... Well, this is still free trade. Uh... Oops, my, my finger slipped. Uh-oh. My finger slipped. You didn't see that. Nothing happened there. 
Cool. Well, let's go ahead and put you guys over here so you guys can repair once the dockyard is built. Actually, just come up here. Actually, first. That'd probably be good. We should be able to make it to Europe first. Can we make any more divisions here? Yes, we can. And we need probably one more artillery piece. So, we have to use artillery. It'll be Dutch artillery. Nice. Good, good, good. Uh, Africa, because Wari is so good. I do it almost every campaign just because it's so good. It's just so good to have. And be eventually it becomes rubber, I believe, as well. So, that's also very good. You know what's good? That Russia's on a two-front war. Oh, they're losing to the Ottomans. Nice. Good. Also, yeah, as you see, France took out... They didn't take Barcelona from Spain. They took out Vasonia Aragon. Of all places. Why? Why? I don't understand. It's not looking good, guys. It's really not. We're improving bureaucrats here, which is nice. Mexico, sure, why not? I don't really care. And are we done with intellectuals here? Let's see, Flanders? Almost. We're almost done. They're really Catholic down there, huh? Alrighty. We're doing a great job in this war. I can t feel it. I can really feel it. After this, I think we're just going to continue. Vietnam, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, we're going to beat the British at something. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, constitutional crisis. Eh, whatever. Constant. Ooh, look at that. Oh, we're peace. Okay, so now we can go ahead and do this stuff as well. Let's see. So, and the Javanese Sultanates. The Sultanates of Yogyakarta and Surakarta had long been under our protection. It would be in our best interest to convince them to come under our direct rule so we might bring civilization to their peoples more effectively. And so we might uh, secure their lands from other powers. Nice. Very nice. Up next, Dutch Wallonia. During the Belgian independence, the Walloons renamed the towns, national features, roads, and villages in their language, with the return of the rifle Dutch rule in their region. There will be nothing more than natural restoring their proper names. Good. And we also have the short declaration. It was short and brief because it was contrasted with the long contracts that were either concluded between the ne Netherlands Indies government and some 17th so-called self-governing lands. The latter were left under the charge of rulers who were empowered to deal with legislative and administrative matters pertaining to their territories. But they had to ensure their obligations to the Netherlands Indies or government were met. The long contracts define the limits of the competency of both rulers and the Netherlands and his government. By issuing the short declaration, we will declare these contracts null and void and we will bring the Moluccan Islands and Siak Sultan under our direct control. Nice. You can get more information, but that's okay. Anything else? No, but that's not looking too bad. This is getting, getting kind of nice around here, I'll be honest. It's getting kind of nice. So in the meantime, let's grab some more artillery, because we could probably use it. Oh, we got the guys. Ah, oh, I love Java. I wonder when we'll get that done. More of a tree from Java. But I think up next... We'll probably try to take out Bali so we can at least travel all the way through there pretty nicely. Oh. Oh, we can go over them right now. All right. Oh, look at that. Humulate the Russian Empire. Nice. And the UK did go to war with Burma. What else is new? Let's head on over there. Uh, we, we definitely need more armies. Quarantine the provinces. Yeah, that's probably best to do. Probably for the best. And we're probably going to need that navy as well. Ooh. Oh, where'd he go? I'm going to need a navy for each side of the world. I really want all of Asia here, so... I wonder if we could just go ahead and... Uh, it's best to maybe go to wait first. Let's wait first. Um, we can cut down infamy a little bit more, which is nice the Polish Uprising. Oh, if you already buy that, please go right ahead. Poland Migration. Help the Poland in any way we can. Congress Poland. Pronounce support of the Russian Empire? Well, not really. Sure. Oh, oh, wait, wait, no. Help the Poles in any way. I don't want an alliance with them. No, 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 no. We'll condemn their actions. There you go. We'll send a strongly worded letter. There we go. That's the way we do it here. Hey, this has got 14 prestige now. Make it a pretty good bank. What else are we doing here? We have a lot of unemployed people, which I don't like. Um, wow. There are a lot of things going on in Flanders. That is not good. Well, you gotta love the free market, you know. <gasps> oh, we can do safety reforms, social reforms. I mean, ah, finally, my friends. Cultural rights. Assimilation rate. I want extreme assimilation. I want everyone to come to, into our country and we assimilate the living crap out of them. I didn't realize child labor was still legal. Thank goodness. Don't quote me on that, but... Oh yeah, that'd be nice. More education would be nice. But healthcare. Oh, we need healthcare. We need so many social reforms. Why are we so backwards? Because it's 1855, that's why. But assimilation rate goes up by 10%. Uh, healthcare. I don't care. But the kids can wait to go to school. We need more kids. We need more babies. Ah, full of funny healthcare. Nice. We want more kids. Not more educated kids, but more kids. 
All right, so organic chemistry might be really nice to get as well. Back to throughput. Uh, wouldn't be bad. I forget which one, one of these was super, super important. So go back. Let's add up. No, I think that, oh, that one is in it. Wasn't it? Oh, we could get some more prestige. We could probably really use that prestige, but uh, you know, well, let's go ahead and grab early railroads. I want to, have to be extremely urbanized in the Netherlands by the end of this campaign. Uh, I guess I don't over there because you're going to meet up anyways. And you, you need some more divisions to just take these guys on. So, well, that sucks. Ah, good. And I guess we can just go to war now. Since the ships have already arrived, too. Awesome. We're six in the world for military power. Pretty good. Bali, your time to get beaten up. Even though our guys are not full strength, but whatever. Congress war Poland. Oh, oh, they're fighting the French. Look at that. I like that. As long as the Germans are still allied to us, that's all I really care about. Germans are strong boys, and we want to keep us strong boys. Sure, France, you can move through our lines if you want. Maybe this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Oopsie, I lost the battle. But at least the guys are still alive. I should have waited to go to war. Oh, well. Things happen. Let's head on in. Morocco. No, we good for now, Morocco. Give us a few more months and we'll be fine. Uh, we want more moralism, don't we? More artillery would be good, too. We need more dockyards. Hmm. Looking a little better already. We just need more infantry. We have 7,000 people. That's not bad, though. 13,000. Give us another month. We need more morale. Or organization, I guess. Yeah. One more month, and this place still won't be taken out, so that's good. And here we go. Now we should be able to slaughter them all. There you go. We need to improve our army tech, too. We just need more people. We need, like I said, we need more kids. Not better kids, just more kids. Nice. Alright, yep, yeah, and we got rid of them. Good, good, good. America, we don't really care for you too much, but that's alright. Of course, we're 150 to 142. It's good to know. It's good to keep in mind, because Japan will come up here as well. So, we've got some rubble organized. We have a lot of consciousness. That's not good. Can we prove anything else here? No, not yet. Oh, call of Spain in the UK? Oh, status quo. Poland exists! You know what? I almost fear him. I wonder if we could fear him. That'd be actually kind of cool. France was, you know, pushing around his weight. Wow. Outbreak. Do what he can. Every, every life is precious. At this point, yes. Every life is precious, kind of. Depending on the day. But literally, depending on the day, I... Hmm. Anyways... Can we go to war with these guys too? Yes, we can. We might as well go ahead and do that too. Um, I kind of want to wait though, but not really. There you go. Thank you. Come again. I guess just head on over. Yes, you can. I didn't realize there's like a literal direct connection that you can have. That's actually really nice. We can take out the Portuguese. Yeah, we'll probably take out the Portuguese as well, as well eventually. Eventually, of course. All right, we're gonna take some time doing that. Early railroads are very nice. Uh, army stuff. Let's get at least one more army thing. Let's go army decision making. And then maybe get some engineers or something else. You know. Tensions dissipate. Very, very good. I wonder who else we can take out. Tidor. Oh, Tidor is actually ours as well. Oh, that's so nice, Tidor. Ruskinia. Uh, 20,000 people. Let's take this more. But the jungles? Jungles are pretty hot to live in, right? What's a life rating? Oh, it's right here. 31. Over here, it's also 30. So it doesn't really matter. Fish. Uh, it's probably better to live in the jungle than in the mountains. That's pretty high up, so there you go. Oh, the foundation of the Johor Bahru. It was founded in 1856 when the ruler of Johor, Temengongong Dang Ibrahim, which I'm saying all these names wrong, I'm sorry, established his administrative headquarters there. That time, Johor Bahru was known as Tajung Puati, a small Malay fishing village at the same time in the northern village of Kampung Teruntum, or the village, situated at the t mouth of the Teruntum River, Haji Senik and his followers were founding the new city of Kuantan in the early 1856s. To the west, Kuala Lumpur was founded, meaning muddy confluence. It was originally a small settlement of just a few houses at the confluence of Sungai Kom Gombak. The town of Kuala Lumpur was established circa 1857 when the Malay chief of Kalang, Raja Abdullah bin Raja Jafar, aided by his brother Raja Jumat of Lukut, 
raise funds to hire some Chinese miners from Lakut to open new tin mines here. These cities have much to grow. Nice. That's actually really cool. Alright, so where is that? Like, Palembang, Jambi, was it over here? Johor Bahru. Oh, yes, I like it. More railroads. Oh, we get more railroads. We don't have to directly invest, but hopefully we have enough capitalists that eventually they can just invest for us, so. There you go. We got, well, I guess these aren't railroads, but whatever. There you go. Do that too. Congress, Poland. Ah, Poland. The Polish are very industrious people. Uh, Bali? Yes. Bali, thank you very much. Yeah, well, we deserve to take you over. Get some railroad sun because you go need them. Actually, I'm going to just keep you here. So then this way we can integrate some more people. Let's get rid of you then. And we need more infantry. So, But we really need more artillery. So we'll do that. And then uh, do that. We love the melee people. Nice. Oh, no. Did, no. Did the North Germans get rid of our lines? Please. Ba Papa. Papa. North German Confederation. Please. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Germany. No. Don't go break. Them. Please don't kill me. For the love of God, please don't kill me. Oh, do we have... Oh, we do the Luxembourg area, which... No one else has Claymons, which is nice. In the meantime, let's just go and manually do this anyways. Eventually, once we have enough capitalists, for the higher levels of infrastructure, they'll invest in that. That's why we have money. That's why you save up money. So you can build up roads yourselves. Oh, we look like we're doing well. Make sure they don't win over there either. Oh, the Nationalist Party is doing quite nice for us. And killed them off. There you go. They didn't even take this place down. And we slaughtered all of the natives. <sighs> oh, the Flores purchase. Portugal's offered to sell the Flores Island to our current colonial administration in Timor. It seems like a reasonable deal. Pay her all $100,000 to get more prestige. We love Portugal. Yes. Yes. People selling colonies to one another. <sighs> oh, Darwinism. More education efficiency. Ah, oh, yes, please. Ah, oh, so nice. Roads, roads, roads. Connect people. So they can post things on Twitter and be really crazy and weird and dumb. Congress Poland. I think we were pretty successful in this episode. We went to China. We got a little island. We annexed a whole lot more of this territory, which is very, very nice. I hope the Philippines get rebellious as, too, as well. Oh, don't. Oh, the UK's over there. At least the UK is not going to try to kill us. Actually, that's it. Hmm. Well, you never know. They might still do that. I still want to take you guys out, though, but... Can we actually go to war with you guys? No, we cannot. Technically, this is part of Malaya, so, I mean... Or what the British really, really want from us. Uh, we do have 21 prestige. That's nice. Papers. Ooh. You know what? I don't mind that one. Just go and do those. I suppose it's fine. We have enough money for now. Obviously, we need more, but whatever. Explosives. That's fine. Uh, Wallonia. They're doing really well. That's steel factory. Zealand. Oh, that's already filled up. There you go. Do that. You know, I'm going to subsidize that one because I want people to come to Zealand. Zealand is one of our major core provinces. Actually, let's take and look at El Salvador. Actually, how are you guys doing it down here? Need more railroads, that's what I thought. We need way more colonial points, too. Yucatan still exists, look at that. Huh. God dang it, America. I'm glad we at least got El Salvador before America got here too quickly, so. Um, it's still 2%, but they have some others as well, so. Wallonian is good. I'm glad we see that. The Flemish here, too. Central Americans, no, not too much. San Miguel? No, Flemish, not yet, but eventually in time. We'll hopefully have some more Dutch people down there. It's just going to take a lot of time. Just don't attack me, Germany, please. Please don't move through my territory. For the love of God, please don't move through my territory when you want to kill off the French. I mean, kill off the French as much as you want. That's fine with me. Just leave us out of it. We'll even give you military access if needed, so. And where are the ships? You guys, head on over here so we can see these guys down faster. That's better. And these guys should be dead. Awesome, awesome. And maybe we'll go back to World Vietnam. We love Vietnam, don't we? We all love Vietnam. Oh, are you fighting? Ooh, don't tell me you're fighting America. Yeah, you're fighting Amer Mexico. Mexico. We might be a great power, but we're like a faux great power. We got some prestige. We got supposedly a big military. But we can't beat a mobilized United States. Unless they're in a civil war, then maybe. But even then, that's pretty difficult. The first civil war in America is not too difficult if you know what you're doing. But the second one, yeah, it might be a little difficult. Second war between the American Union State, no, the Confederacy and such. So. Anyway, let's head on over here. And is that it? That should be it.
Wait, bone? Do you still have territory? Oh! It's down here. Okay, that's fine. You know, I'm gonna wrap this up off screen to take these guys out, and then we'll figure out who we're gonna go with or go to war with next. Alright, everyone. So, we're here. We can go to war with China again and figure out what we really want to maybe, maybe take away from them, which will be Manchu Feng Chan, just because that's actually really good for um, territories. You know, if we get the UK involved. Oh, we got the UK involved as well, but let's kind of, let's go on anyways and do it without them. They might take more territory that we really want to give them. It looks like America is just demolishing Mexico. Wow. All right. Call you guys in as well. They have one prestige there in Colombia. That is fine with us. Whatever. They're doing them, which is fine with me. Hainan. Yes, let's go. Oh, yes, please. And Peru. Oh, Oregon Treaty. That's cool. Ah, uh, Peru. I think we're kind of okay. And we're about to get muzzle-loaded rifles as well, which is very, very good. But let's grab some more point depth system because we get some more digging caps as well. I think that'd be kind of good, especially as we're fighting very large neighbors here. We'll put it like that. Hopefully, we can take this going out and just siege it down. Hopefully, blockade them a whole bunch. Uh, Mexico. Did you lose your war, Mexico? Yeah, they did. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, so, I, I went to war with China because they had a lot of rebels. But now they have 11 military score again, which is not good for us, but it, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Mexico. I just, I'm not feeling it right now, man. Just not feeling it. Maybe next time. I right, hope we can season him down fast enough, even though we're probably not going to do that well. If we get Manchu Feng Ching, that'd be really quite bueno. There you go. No enemy armies yet, but they'll come in time. They will definitely come here. There we go. Nice. And these armies aren't even that good, so I hope we didn't make a mistake here. Nice. Come on over here, too. Mao Ming. Oh, and we have some... <clears throat> oh, that's good. More attack. I like that. Uh, elections. Oh. We need a lot of war score for this. This might have been a mistake. This definitely might have been a mistake. 13. Army score. Um, actually, because we want to take that, we probably need to actually go siege it down. We need to complete that war goal. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's going to be hard to get up there. Um, hmm, probably a big mistake I made. Hmm, screw it, call the UK maybe in. All right, they're coming in, that's good. Argentina, whatever. Actually, if Argentina's allied to us, yeah, maybe we'll sphere Argentina, let's, let's, let's take a look. Argentina. Wait, oh, we're not leaders of the world, god dang it, that's right. Hello. You find them, they look very disorganized. If you can kill them, that'd be good. We'll see what happens, though. Oh, look at these guys. They are nationalists, huh? All right. Next group hopefully goes bye-bye and come to Canton. Hey, actually, that wasn't great. Oh, crap. What is this? That's fine. As long as you're helping me with my war, uh, that's kind of okay with me. Uh, Zhu Men? Wait, where? Zeng Yuan. I guess you're going up there, huh? We'll hopefully we can beat them up as they're retreating. Yep, well, they died. Nice. War score for this group is what? Not good. Well, I guess we're going to be at the mercy of the UK until we kill them all off, I suppose. Pingle goes bye-bye. 3,000 more dead men. Come on, and... Boomerino. Huizu. Alright, we got to move these guys over now. Uh, what else do we have here? Well, we have 1%. Hmm. I, I really hope that, uh... The UK is shuffling some soldiers over. That'd be really nice, you know? That'd be really, really nice. Uh, say capitalism, why not? Oh, we do have another... Ch an actual Chinese army over there, too. Actually, let's grab those guys, too. That'd be good. Good, and shuffle you guys over here. A literal Chinese army. Oh, they just had to move up. Well, at least they, have, they can focus more on what we need for them to focus on. That'd be good. And let them escape north, and we'll go right there, too. Thank you. Come again. Oh, God, no. What party are we in now? Oh, the Liberal Party. Oh, look at that. The Freedom of Religion Act. I guess we can do that one for now. The Congress of the Netherlands shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof of, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the free press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. 
We can pass an amendment to our constitution and guarantee absolute freedom of religion in our country and the separation of church and state. Or state and church. Political parties will still have their political inclinations, but freedom of religion will be protected. What? We do the discrimination? Well, you're going to lose your country that way. What the heck? With no discrimination on religion? I got to play some EU4 then. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on with France? That's us. Oh, they're going to order the study. I would hate to be Sardinia Piedmont right now. Holy crap. That's not good. Nice, though. Nice. What's the world score? Like 4%? Hey, we're going up in the world, man. You, me, we're going up in the world. Argentina's probably what we want. Thank you. I'm just trying to sink my teeth into whatever we, wherever we can go, so. We'll take out whoever we can. Uh, Beninese influence? Uh, I don't want to lose money. There you go. Yeah, sure, why not? Nice, good job. Who's who? Who's who? Beat him up, if you can. Shao Zhu is next. I want to keep these guys relatively close to each other, so if we need to go anywhere... And be with each other. So be at the Valley of the Kings. Um, if you'd like to do the battle, that, please go right ahead. This happens every campaign, pretty much. So, hopefully, we can do that. They refuse. Bah! God dang it, Egypt! You son of a gun! Actually, units anyone's sphere. I actually, that's probably good to take them out next. They're in the Ottoman sphere, but if we have the UK allied with us, how, oh, Colombia actually showed up. Look at that! Oh, they showed up. The British showed up there too. I love our allies. The most loyal of allies, aren't they? Nice, Zhangzhou. Brits have shown up. God. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I wonder who's going to form Italy, if anyone forms Italy. Probably two Sicilies, maybe. I don't know. Roman thought. Maybe the Papal States. Maybe Mr. Pope Man will come over. Nice job, Colombia. Thanks for playing. Oh, actually, how did this hurt us? Oh, we have to max cap on money? Of course, these liberals don't want to tax the rich people that much. They don't even want to tax poor people that much. Or have tariffs. You're ruining our country, liberals. I'd rather have this guy. Laws are fair. Screw it. Well, uh, no, I want jingoism. Uh, but these guys are so jingoistic. And both. Oh, that's so nice. You know what? We'll try a little bit of this one for now. Right? Got tuberculosis? Well, that still sucks. But, whatever. Well, that party just for a little bit. Nice. There you go. There you go. Moving up some more. Oh, God. Is someone else fighting France now? Austria, Hungary, and. France versus oh, oh ne never mind Italy literally just formed whoa whoa okay that was really been pissed off I don't think I could do too much but okay all right so we did quite a bit of the army stuff I'm gonna keep going down with some more like organic chemistry and something maybe mechanized mining coal production let's get some more production mobilization size nice oh wow Russia you're not looking good you got a lot of Jacobins over there white piece oh well my friends now this is the best part of the Netherlands, overseas colonial territory. Oh, this is the problem with that, calling in the UK. They got MacArthur. God dang it. Uh, we'll kill off the British eventually. We'll dismantle their empire. But let's finish off with commission worship. Now nah, we don't do that. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Really do leave a like. It does help me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.